you guys uh, you guys had 92 each the first two games, 85 tonight. Just you know, when you look at these three games as a whole, um, what is what is making it difficult to score the ball as a team? Um, I mean, first off, they're a pretty good defensive team, and um, they've limited our uh, three point shots a lot, and. You know, we got 32 today. Our goal is normally 40, and out of those 32, we didn't hit many of them. So I think that uh, contributes to it. Third quarter, um, I, I think you guys, you know, had I think eight turnovers in the quarter. Just, you know, how, I guess, frustrating was that to to have the quarter you had when you had a chance to cut into the lead there? Yeah, no, it's tough. Um, that's something they do is they, call, they force turnovers. That's something we, you know, game plan for, but we just didn't execute, you know, taking care of the ball at a high level. That's been an issue the last two games uh, was the turnovers. Have you seen something just common between these two games where the, the turnovers have been much higher than usual? Um, we have to look at the film again just to put a finger on it. Um, try to come back game four and figure that out get a win. I guess what's the key coming back game four, just not you know feeling like – but still feeling like there's something to fight for, coming in with the type of belief you need to win that game. Still have a game. That's, at the end of the day, you still have a game, so you got to try and win. That's really all it is. And I guess what's been the talks like with B.I., you know, three straight games for him where he's really struggling to really get himself going. Uh, what are y'all just trying to tell him just to, to get him back where he needs to be? Just continue to stay in the game. Um, you know, it's a long series. And also, you know, it's a really good defensive team. And you just got to find different ways to attack them and break down their defense. Trey, not once during the regular season did you guys have three straight games where you shot under 30% from three. If I would have told you that would have happened in the first three games of the playoffs, how surprised would you have been? Oh, a little surprised for sure. I mean, under 30 is never good. But um, also, you know, shots are a little more difficult in the playoffs. Teams game plan for to make sure that the people that they want to shoot the ball, shoot the ball, and people that they don't want to shoot the ball, shoot the ball, not shoot the ball. So, uh, I think for us, it's just you know continue to create and try to create uh, good shots. And how do you get that confidence, right? Because no matter how confident you are as a person, it has to you know somehow affect you when you see that happen three straight games. How can you guys come together, you know, as a team? Does it take having what a couple shots go in? What does it take for that, that to flip the script? I think uh, a problem with a lot of the basketball community is that people are so results based on their confidence and not just based off of their work ethic. Like, I don't care if I miss 10 in a row. Like, I know in the back of my head, I've had games where I missed a lot, came back and hit five straight. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. And I know for my teammates, we just got to continue to shoot the ball. We were number one corner three point shooting team in the, in the entire league last year, move this year. So, you know, it's not a fluke for a reason. Like, we just got to shoot the ball and just put the ball in the basket. In the second quarter, y'all had made it a one-point game. Then they went on a 14-0 run. What were they able to do to close the second quarter um, strong? I'm sure us turning the ball over didn't help. And then, um, you know, they were just moving the ball really well. We had to have some defensive breakdowns. They were making shots and capitalizing off of our mistakes. So um, I think that's just what happened. You know, a few times you guys went and checked at the rim. Uh, potentially. I mean, he's a good shot blocker, and you know, just gotta make you know good rim decisions. Um, for me, still trying to attack, also find passes to the to the guys where that, you know when he's stepping up, find passes to the big, or figuring out ways to finish around him. But um, I mean, he's a good shot blocker, and I'm not gonna comment on you know officiating or if it was a foul or not. Thanks, Jeff.